So we have here a case of impending tipping. Let us have this problem. The winch is used to move the 100 newton plank shown. Calculate the largest tension in the cable for which the plank remains at rest. Mu is equal to 0 0.4 between the plank and the plane. So there are two cases here. So the plank may slide to the left and the other case is if this plank will start to be lifted about that point A. So let us analyze case 1. So for case 1, we have that impending sliding. Impending sliding. So, if we draw the figure or that free body diagram, so we have this plank, we have the tension on the cable, this is 70 degrees, and then we have the weight of the plank, which is 100 Newton. So, other forces, we have the normal force and the frictional force. Now, this normal force will be acting at a certain distance x from point A. So, this is point A and this is point B. So, if we take the maximum value of that force F or frictional force F, so we have that F which is equals to F max, okay? So, the formula for the frictional force is mu n. So this f max is equals to 0 0.4 of n. So you have that value for mu. Taking summation of forces along the x-axis equals to 0, we have 0 0.4 of n, the frictional force, which is 0.4 of n minus p cosine 70 degrees equals to zero. Let's call this equation one. And then taking summation of forces along the y-axis equals to zero, we have n plus t sine 70 degrees is equals to 100. Let's call this equation two. Solving equation one and two, we get the values for normal force N and T. So this is 47.64 Newton and this is 55.72 Newton. So this is for the maximum tension that can be applied for case 1, impending sliding. So for case 2, we have the impending tipping so we have here the figure we have the tension t so this is point a point b and then we have that applied force or that weight of the plank 100 newton so this is two meter Two meter. This is 70 degrees. So we apply other forces. Okay, this time we have that normal force and the frictional force. Now the location of normal force has shifted to, the, to that of point A because by impending tipping. Okay, this plank is about to be lifted off the ground about point A. So the normal force will be shifted to that point A. So from this figure, if we take summation of first moment about point A equals to zero, so we have 100 times 2 minus T sine 70 degrees, vertical component, and then times the moment arm 4, 
equals to 0. So it follows that T is equals to 53.21 Newton. So we have this maximum value of T for case 2. So therefore, what would be the maximum value of T that is required so that this plank would remain at rest. So you choose the smallest value, which is equals to 53.21 Newton. So that would be our final answer.